Hi everybody, welcome to the Shadow War and impromptu videos uh, brought about by a, a, a contact from Mark Fries of the War Games Holiday Centre who was asking about how I did these and where I got these from. Well, these are actually 3D prints from a guy called Taylor Figures GB. Now he's on Etsy and he does um, teams with horses and riders and everything. And I just contacted him and asked just for the wagons. So we've got here is uh, two caissons um, there is a forge and then there's an ambulance and uh, he kindly printed these for me and, and sent them over um, they're made of a very hard type of resin uh, a little bit difficult to assemble um, I used super glue and it took some time but yep they all came together eventually um, they're stuck on MDF from war bases they're large ovals and uh, essentially they were sprayed green um, I think I can't remember the brand I'll be honest it's probably from Halfords to be which I use quite a lot um, and once sprayed green I then did the metal work uh, in a, a dark gray stroke black um, not going too crazy because I knew most of it would be covered in some kind of snow or would, I tried to create frosting so once that was done the base was done it was pretty straightforward after that um, taking a large brush um, I, I don't know what size it would be, but um, I'll give an example. There it is. There's the little de devil. Um, and some white paint. Uh, I basically went across the green, dashing like that. Um, and it created a, what for me was a, a, frosty, a frosty effect. You can see it here, I think. Um, that is just a brush, paint dry brushed, and then dabbed on uh, quite forcibly. And you can see it, it gives it the impression of frost on the wood. Um, after that, you're now looking at Woodland Scenics. Now, this is the Woodland Scenics powder you can pick up from any hobby shop. Um, it's called Soft Snowflake Snow, SN140. Um, and what I do, I put loads of PVA and water on the base. I chuck it all on and give it a good press down. Um, with the actual woodwork, you can see I put some on as well. Uh, again, PVA, water, glue, uh, and put some on. Now, word of warning, this stuff takes quite a lot to go hard and quite a lot will just fall off. So don't be too dispirited if you think, oh, I'm gonna have to do this a couple of times. Um, I've only found one answer to it, which you may find rather amusing. Um, it's this stuff. Ultimate Hold Hairspray. Yes, uh, not for the hair, but for snow. And what I do is basically I spray along the edges here and other places with it. And I then put the Woodland Scenic Snow on and it goes rock hard. This stuff is like spray glue. Nice smell, of course, if you're lucky. But it really does the business. It holds the snow rock solid and you'll be shocked how fast it dries as well. Um, especially if you think about hairspray, you shouldn't be shocked because it does dry rather fast. Um, that is my little secret trick. And I've been using it on all my buildings and I've used it on these as well. And I, it, it does the business. It holds it. Um, one other thing, by the way, if you're doing MDF bases, MDF bases, as you know, tend to have very dark edges. Um, you really need to put a lot of white paint on that to get rid of that mark. Um, one coat is not enough. It will show through. So yeah, don't worry about tipping two or three coats of white paint around your edging if you want to get rid of it. I paint the bases as well, by the way. Um, so yeah, so in summary, these are 3D prints from uh, Taylor Figures GB. I bought mine off Etsy. I asked him just for the um, wagons and none of the horses and the, um, the riders. Uh, the bases are from War Bases, uh, they're MDF 2 mil. The paint is probably from Halfords, as I say. Uh, standard acrylic paints for the rest of it. The frost effect is simply a large brush, dry brush with a bit of white, and then pressed hard against the wood to give the effect. Um, on top of that is then your Woodland Scenics with PVA and water. And the final touch, which will make sure you get more snow than you normally would with the BVA and water is um, the good old Boots Ultimate Hold Hairspray. Um, so I hope that one take video is of use to you all. Um, apologies, I don't have any editing software. I'm not that clever yet. 
uh, but one day I hope um, I will be able to do better, bit better videos than this and give you some sort of you know tips and stuff on how we did it. But yeah, I hope you can get it. I hope you guys can go and order this. I hope you can get it for your games, whether it's sharp practice or others. You know, it, these are really good things to have, uh, especially when they're the Cossacks and the um, the French stragglers are fighting over any morsels that may be hidden amongst them. Cheers, everybody. Take care.